All right, so we've dropped Christian off and I've put 50 pounds worth of weight up inside the bow. I've got a small little deck pad that is gonna cushion them so that they don't ruin the hull. I've also got the camera case up there which is approximately 15 to 20 pounds of weight. So that's gonna simulate a small person being up there. I cannot use my tiller extension because what well, y'all saw earlier, it just doesn't work with this handle right here so it won't grip it and it just comes right off. So I'll just kind of do more of the same. However, what's different today is the fact that we have super high winds, open water, generous water chop. We're gonna run her and you know what I forgot to do as well. I forgot to trim her back down. Well, we'll run her on the second tab because that's where we had to be in order to get on plane with Christian on board. But I'm gonna leave it there since we got weight up there. Maybe we'll be able to get on plane and it's not gonna be uncomfortable. Let's see how we do. Oh wow, yeah, there's a night and day difference. Even in water chop, she's acting a little bit better. Okay, so bouncing a little bit with that water chop. It's some really crazy stuff. Let's get out of the way. We're gonna get out of this channel and we're gonna shift the trim tab all the way back down to the lowest position and then maybe we can control that little bounce that we were starting to experience because of the crazy water chop that we got going against us right now. Put her in neutral, kill the motor, raise her up, and let's move that trim tab very carefully though. All right, here we are right there. I wanna make sure I got hands on at all times. Don't wanna lose that, that would be very bad. There we go. And it's the fully lowered position. There we are. Lower her all the way back down and we're ready to go. I'm gonna get my phone ready as far as speed goes. I wanna, I wanna see if we still achieve the same speeds in some high water chop. Get a somewhat V-hole, a bay boat coming through. It's got a big V-hole. That dude is gonna push some massive weight. Yeah, here it comes, y'all. About to find out if, if that wake is gonna come over the gunnels with one person, which I don't think it will. Going eight miles an hour. Now, just some hull slap coming over. That's it. Let's try to get on plane. Oh wow, we got on plane super quick with all that weight up there. Lots of water chop through here. We're going 20 miles an hour through that water chop. It does feel kind of sketchy, but I've got my hand on this dock line for stability. And the other hand on the tiller, whoa, that right there. That is kind of scary, but she handled it really well. Of course, you're not gonna come out here and do this in high waters, 20 miles an hour. Slow her down just a little bit, get control. I'll keep staring down right there. We've got 14 miles an hour on the phone. Hopefully the GoPro will see that. 18. 18 miles an hour is pretty good. We're complete control of the skiff right now, even with the water chop being moderate. 19 miles an hour. And she's handling just exceptionally well with the weight up there. Yeah, still 19. through some big water chop right now. Gotta slow it down. Big old swells right here. We got a big V-hole, like bay style boat that just went by and pushed those swells. 
right over there just going through. Yeah, still no water over the gunnels. That's that's really good. So we got 20 miles an hour. We're trying to beat that in this uh, crazy water chop. miles an hour it's a very bumpy ride but that's to be expected with a flat bottom we're in complete control of the skiff with the water chop I would feel a lot more comfortable with the tiller extension I'm just it's a shame that it didn't work 1718 is a nice cruising speed with uh, mild, moderate water chop. Once we get beyond past this tree line, we'll open her up for a quick second, see uh, if we can catch that 20, 21 mile an hour mark. All right, here we go. She's full throttle, 20 miles an hour and doing really well. Oh my gosh. Cruising at 20. I'm, I'm gonna assume it's because of the additional weight that we threw up there, but boy, she is balanced and she's moving, scooting <laughs> 20 miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> that was really awesome. 20 miles an hour, complete control. The little bouncing action that the water chop was causing earlier uh, in complete control. So let's turn around. We're going to see what we can do going back and hopefully we'll get similar conditions going into. Actually, the wind is coming from my right hand side out of the east today. And every time we come to an open portion of water, that's when the chop gets real bad. I don't feel comfortable leaving her full throttle going through that stuff because the minute you your prop comes out of the water and if you change directions, when you go back in, it will kick your rear end out from under you. I've done that before in my other skiff. I'm not dumb enough to uh, try it again. All right, the last time we got 21 miles an hour is when we raised it approximately to like finger lengths, the width of both of my fingers. So we'll do the same thing again. Right there. Almost. Okay, right there. Here we go, y'all. Let's go. take a little bit longer oh wow she got on plane quick we're full throttle too still 20 miles an hour 21 there we go we're in open winds right now too you can see how she's kind of coming up 21 yeah she all you got to do is throw that weight up there and she starts to get well balanced 21 miles an hour easy with a 9.9 .9 horse yeah so I'm thoroughly impressed 21 miles an hour is more than enough we raised it up at least I know where it needs to be I know where it needs to be to achieve that kind of speed on my lonesome we've got two 25 pound dumbbells up there the camera case is up there and we're doing really well i'll have to figure another solution out to get my counterweight to balance her out but yeah i am thoroughly impressed with the results i'm gonna see how she does in just regular water chop with no protection from the tree line that we got right over there and uh, we're gonna take her all the way back in. Hopefully she's gonna still keep me comfortable and not feel all sketched out. Let's see, let's see what happens. Lower it down. 
I'm not looking to set any speed records. I just want to be a nice, comfortable ride. Man, she jumps on plane quick, too. We've got a nine pitch prop. All right, this is gonna be another test right here because there is nothing to protect us from the wind and the water chop got significantly bigger. There we go. It's a bit bumpy, but she's still in control. The prop is firmly planted down there. Oh wow, big swells. Gliding across, staying planted. Wow, goodness gracious, this girl can go. 9.9, I couldn't imagine a 15 horse, much less a 20. More open water right here. Big old gust of wind. Still going, taking it like a champ. Again, I would never do this just on a regular casual fishing day. I would be going a lot slower. Full throttle and boy, she took it like a champ, y'all. Holy moly. We're good. Back at the ramp. Yeah. I'm sold. I'm pretty much sold. Today was like, let me show y'all the water chop that we're doing. Hopefully the GoPro is gonna be able to get it now that we're slow. That right there is some nasty stuff for a small watercraft. I mean, it is coming in at me pretty, pretty tough. Right there, you can get a side shot of it. It is some nasty stuff. Just take my word for it. I would not be doing this unless I was testing. That's the only reason why I put myself through this crap. It's not like it's dangerous or anything. I'll, the worst that would happen is I fall out. <laughs> Skiffworks gets upset with me because I maybe swamp their boat and uh, they lose an outboard or something like that. But I didn't have to worry about doing something like that because I didn't feel not in control of the watercraft. She just... She did really well. Yeah, even with leaving the safety and comfort of the bayou, coming out into the legit open bay in the middle of the channel, she, uh, she still did exceptionally well. I seriously am sold on her ability to, with low gunnels and as low as she rides, uh, once she's balanced, I'm, I'm sold on the fact that she can handle some nice moderate water chop. Let's take her back home. Yeah, I'm sold. <laughs>